Ryan Quarles may not have gotten all the headlines that Attorney General Daniel Cameron has gotten over the past year, and he may not have all the money that Kelly Kraft has. But as Agriculture Commissioner, he has developed a large statewide network, and his campaign says he has a lot of loyal voters. Voting starts today, so please go through your phones, call your neighbors. Talk to the folks you go to church with, your co-workers, and make sure they get out to vote. After shaking hands and posing for photos, Ryan Quarles climbed into his signature red truck and hit the road. Polls have shown him trailing Daniel Cameron and Kelly Kraft, but we asked if his opponent's feuding has given him a path up the middle. For me, I'm focused on what my campaign strategy was from day one, and that was going to show up traveled to all 120 counties, hit as many Dollar General stores as possible, and bring a positive vision to all corners of the Commonwealth. Quarles has also avoided chasing controversy. We asked him what he thought about Kraft's recent comments on transgender people. Well, look, I grew up in a household where we accept people for who they are. My mom is a public school teacher. My dad continues to farm today. And so for me, I think there's bigger issues facing the Commonwealth of Kentucky. The Republican primary is crowded, 12 candidates in all. And yet, voter turnout is forecast to be as low as 10%. We are the only campaign that has a solid base. The agriculture and rural folks of Kentucky, they're locked in and they're excited. Uh, and we're encouraging the vote, especially if it's going to rain. <laughs> uh, you know, they don't get stuck cut, cutting hay out in the field. Get out and vote right now. And so I think it's actually going to help us. Can you start dividing the vote up among 12 Republicans? They're all friends of mine that the campaign, the biggest base and the most disciplined will win a crowded primary. Quarles says that same base could be the key to defeating Democratic incumbent Governor Andy Bashir in the fall. We have electability on our side. The last time I ran for statewide office, I won 117 of 120 counties, we won by 20 points. I actually received more votes than Andy Bashir did on election night. And so I'm asking re the Republican voters across Kentucky to think about who has the best shot of beating Andy Bashir in the fall, and I'm that candidate. In Georgetown, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.